Hey Bird Game Maniacs, Maniac Rob here with Maniac Shane and Maniac Lance to bring you another episode of Gloomhaven. Again, disclaimer, if you don't want to know about the game, don't watch the video and don't comment down below saying, oh you spoiled it. Don't watch it. As the big disclaimer says at the beginning of this video, about you don't want to watch the scenario, you don't want to know about it, don't watch it. Plain and simple. Uh, with our first quest that we did, again, spoilers alert, uh, we actually managed to get to... Uh, so the end of the Black Barrel. Yeah, the Black Barrel. Oh, yeah. But we found another door, so we had to go into it to go even deeper into the, uh, the crypt and through mazes. Because this second quest is called the Barrel's Lair. So we're going in further and further and further down into this hole that smells like death and, and reeks of decay. Who knows what's going to happen here? We just barely managed to survive for the first beginning episode. So hopefully we'll do the same. We'll do a little better this time or hopefully nobody will die. We'll see because we only have a little bit of limit of cards and we're probably going to make more rules and mistakes. We are learning as we go along just like any other game. And we're not that smart. True. Yeah. <laughs> no, uh, and another thing too as well, I just want to give a shout out for the Facebook page for Gloomhaven for helping us out. Anytime I have questions, I just ask them it and within 20 minutes, I get a flood of information about my question, which is great. So thank you very much for everybody doing that on Facebook. So let's go to the board, let's look at the setup and we'll go from there. Here you're looking at the map that is in the book, so if you got this game you don't want spoilers, don't look in the book. Well the spoiler is, if you're playing, you'd have to look at it anyway. <laughs> exactly. So this is number two, and it's Barrel's Lair requirement, first step, which we did complete, barely, but we did complete. Go, kill the bandit commander and all revealed enemies. Now I'm not going to read the, the uh, introduction except to tell you, you know, like, each of our uh, heroes start the quest with three curse cards into our action deck modifier. We start at this room and we have to get in here. Now when we get in here, other stuff will be revealed and everything else. I'm not going to go over all that until it happens. But you can see I have the board mimicking the setup. We start right off with three banded archers and one guy is missing. That's huh. what you're going to put yourself There we go. I love, I love how... Yeah, you know, my scoundrel right up front. Well, you, you and your tank is in the back. Hey, you placed it. I you know. Placed it there. That way, I, well, here, that way I, ha I don't have to move so much to hit things. <laughs> How's that? I'll move up there with that you. That makes Shane. more sense that the tank is up. Yeah, front. now Lance is just being a, a chicky, chicky. Well, he's a rat. So. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. And he's probably picking our pockets as we're standing in front, well, trying to get gold or something. Yeah, I'm, right. Yeah, I'm the scoundrel. I'm a pickpocket, probably. But oh, yeah, that's true. But you know, he's. He could be doing it too. In either case, it is the Bearer's Lair, and again, the objective of this is kill the bandit commander and all revealed enemies. Now what that means, we'll find out as it goes on. But anyhow, we're gonna go to the map and we're gonna put the sticker onto the Barrel's Lair. We have Vanna, go ahead Vanna. We have selected the Barrel's Lair to appoint onto the map today. You can get a real close for that. It's, I got a little two on it, some trees. Wait, wait, it's, it. Yeah, it's probably hard to see. There we go, now it's in focus. All right, there you go. Okay. Now, it's gonna be right here beside uh, Black Barrows. We'll just uh, stick it all up here all willy-nilly. There we go. Fit in there perfectly, the train matched up. Yes, now I kind of colored in the Black Barrows, a little square here. It means that we actually completed it. This one is open because we didn't complete it yet. No. And also, where Shane opened up the treasure chest there, and it was 71. We have a side mission that we the, can the do. Swept Highlands, yes. yes. But we are all chosen. We're going there. Now, we didn't talk about if we do want to go back to Gloomhaven, the town of Gloomhaven, or do you want to just keep continuing well, on? Lance kind of fell in love with his iron helmet that I have, and he was talking about maybe going back and buying it, but we don't need to buy anything, so I think the majority vote is we, we don't go back to town. Yeah. yeah we'll just save her money up. Yeah, let's buy really big expensive stuff. Let's all get some plate armor or something. Stupid. Yeah, that'd be good because, yeah. you know. I don't even know if there's plate armor. But yeah, well, yeah. we'll find out. You never know. We Anything to help us survive a little better than what we did last time. Because, like, I think all three of us were almost down to death. I think I, oh, yeah. I, my health was okay, 
but I was running low on cards, which is I found is the hard part of this game is not expending all of your attack cards and throwing them in the lost pile too early in the game, otherwise you're screwed. Yeah, and with these curse cards added to this to the oh, deck modifier now. Yeah, no, I did. When uh, I said to sum up that there's three curse cards each hero player has that you shuffle into your action deck modifier, and when you draw one of these curse deck curse cards, it's removed from your action deck modifier completely for the rest of this this scenario. But it stops you from doing anything, yeah, moving, it just fighting. Ends that turn. Yeah, because you're cursed, and that is it. And also too as well is because of the Facebook page I did find out if you use a consumable item like a healing potion when you start the next campaign or the same campaign next time that you fail, you get them back. They're reusable per campaign mission, yeah. which is good. Yeah, it will we'll, help us we'll out. We use our health potions. I, I, they're expensive. They're like 10 gold for health. Yeah, it, it can cause a lot of havoc. But that's what we have to do, so let's just get to it. Before we begin, even though that we are going deeper into the lair, into the crypt, we still have to draw a road card. As per the Facebook group and also in the book that you do need to draw a road card. Now, this mission, like I said before, it is linked to the first mission. And when missions are linked, you don't have to go back to the town of Gloomhaven and do a city card and everything else. You can just continue on. But if they're not linked, you are back in the glo in Gloomhaven. But it is linked, so it's a road card. So Shane, all right. The road contains many dangers, and chief among them are the barbaric tribes of the Inox that inhabit the wilderness around the city. This is why your heart sinks when you see a mounted group of them ride up and surround your party. Oh, lovely. Ah, agents of the wretched monstrosity you call a town, the largest of the Inox says, and he looks down at you. Tell me, scum, what business do you have out here on our land? Have these fools sent you out to murder more of my people? Option A, attempt to come to a peaceful resolution. Or option B, attack the insulting, contemptuous Inox. Hmm, what do you think, Lance? Should we talk to them or should we just attack? Back to you, Shane. Oh, I, they, they sound like a group it's of giant attack. barbarians and there's three of us. Yeah. yeah, I say we attack. I vote. What? I vote peaceful solution. Stab them in the back while they're sleeping, which isn't an option, but peaceful solution. <laughs> I was gonna say, wait, that uh, I, is that option C in the? No, well, I, I'm a scoundrel. I can just make stuff up. Yeah, true. Well, no, we just try to be their friends, get them drunk, stab them in the face. Yeah, when they sleep. Yeah. Or we can just loot them when they're asleep quietly and then leave. Mm, I'd rather kill them. They're gonna chase us if we don't. But I again, peace, peaceful solution is my vote. All right. So peaceful solution. You say peaceful what, solution. What, you want to attack? That would leave the swing votes raw. Yeah, I. I we don't want to attack him because from what are described of what they are like you know again there's only three of us and we could take some damage even worse than getting the curse cards that we already have to, for the mission so I would say peaceful too as well all right so uh, we get a minus four reputation mm -hmm. yeah you begin to agree with the inox that Gloomhaven is a blight on the land in need of cleansing and the inox seems to believe you Go in peace then, the leader says, and stay off our land. No effect. Otherwise, try to explain that you mean the Inox no ill will, but the leader eyes you skeptically. Fellow creature, I curse you and your kind. Run off my land and never come back. I'll start the scenario with curse. So we have a choice. We either take a loss in reputation or we get cursed. We already have three curse cards. Uh, it just starts off with us cursed, meaning we just don't get a first turn. Is that what that means? No, it means we get another curse card into our deck. Hmm. I really don't want that minus four reputation loss. We should have just fought him. Not that I'm arrogant or anything, but we don't. I don't want the reputation. We loss. don't have uh, any reputation anyhow at the beginning. We do. No, we gain some. We're a plus one. Oh, are we? So yeah, we, we go back plus to one. So we'd be a minus three. Ooh. We should have fought him. Well, we already chose though, so. Yeah. yeah. 
27 should be fine. Um, well, I'm looking at that. No, we shouldn't. Do you know what? Yeah, I... I, I don't mind taking another curse card. But the, right. Think about it. One curse card in our deck just means one attack's gonna fail. No, no, no. There'll be four attacks failing because we have four curse cards. Yes, I know, but we'll only have one extra one. So we'll, that really equates to just one more attack failing. We take the reputation loss. That could take us four scenarios to build that much reputation back up. Yeah. Really what? 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 <laughs> All right. My vote, take the curse. Okay, Lance. Yeah, we'll take the curse. Really? Well, two against one, so I guess we take another curse card. So we're starting this scenario with four curse cards in our curses. Uh-oh, that I'm hurts. Fine. I'm fine with that. Yeah. Like I said, the reputation, we only, we've only done one scenario, we've only got one reputation. So realistically, that could be four whole scenarios just to get back to where we are now. Yeah, I know, but I'd I'm... rather just have one failed attack. Well, it'll be, we'll see how bad it is during the, the game. Let's start. Oh boy, I'm scared now. I just checked into the deck and the character's uh, deck. When I say deck, I mean the uh, attack modifier. And we only have four, uh, three curse cards for Shane, three for Lance, three for me, and then one extra. So I don't know if we're missing cards or that's the way it's designed. We're supposed to have four, four curse cards in our deck this scenario. The three plus the one because of what happened. On the road, yeah. Yeah, on the road, the road card. And because of that, what we're going to do then is just, we're not going to cycle through them all. Once we are on the last curse card, which is number three, we're just going to shuffle it back in our deck, which will represent the fourth card. If we are missing cards, or if that's what you're supposed to do, whatever the case is, comment down below. I, I think what it is, it's because we just happened to get this road card with a quest that started us with the curse card. Yeah. I think it's just bad luck. That, that uh, I'm thinking missing. it is too as well, but I'm thinking it's going to do a lot of damage to us. But time will tell. But we're ready to start playing and let's start off the round. We just did our initiative and what are the initiatives? So Lance, what's your initiative? Eight. Eight. Chain? Uh, I got a 10. The uh, bandits here got a 68. And I got a 57. So that means it's going to be Lance, Chain, myself, and then the bandit archers. Hopefully if anybody is wondering, they're the bandit archers and are just regular bandit archers. So Shane, what are you doing? I'm not doing anything because it's Lance going. Oh yeah, that's right. Sorry, yeah, I just said that. Man. That's just so used to me going first. I know. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Get out of my face. Yeah. I'm trying to play, man. Be professional. Well, well, why are you moving that there? It gets charged. It's just, but you gotta explain it. Oh. Because I, you didn't let me. You just like kept babbling on like a little schoolgirl. What are you doing, shifty eyes? I'm uh. Could use its bottom one of perverse edge. Uh, so it's attack one, range of two, and a stun. Ooh. Oh, and yeah. it charges the snowflake up, and I get an experience for it. Okay. So, so you, don't you, going... get, you don't actually get an attack though, because there's nothing within range of two. Right. Uh, yeah, you yeah, can move true. through friendly models. Uh, he can't move because it says that didn't give him an option to move. Well, he can play the, oh, that's the move part of the card, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. so you're not attacking anything, but you get an XP. Yeah. yeah. Get an XP. Yeah. Free XP for doing nothing. Yeah, you didn't plan that. Well, you, you, you buffed the snowflake. And what is your second card that you're going to do? Uh, well, heal I'm going to use this one here, but yeah. I can't heal because I'm already full health. And, uh, and you can't attack because there's nothing adjacent to you, yeah. so. Yeah. So your turn is ended. Yeah, you did nothing but buff a snowflake oh, and yeah. XP. Yeah. I'm and so you're like, I'm going first. So glad you were useful. Yeah. All right, Chain. All right, so <laughs> I'm going to start off with this uh, pull two, range three. So I, I'm going to take uh, number one guy here. I'm going to pull him right into this stun trap. Ooh. So with these traps, they are stun traps. And what happens is any trap, when it is triggered, it's... Two damage plus level, so they're gonna take three damage plus they're gonna be stunned. Alright, up three damage and the stunner right over here. And the stun is cannot do anything but rest. Move at the end of your next turn. So that means that this archer is not gonna be able to shoot, it's not gonna move or nothing, it's just staying exactly where it is. Well it's probably gonna die. Well yeah, but we gotta take this trap out of here. Yeah. Because it is triggered. And that's it for that. And now you got a second part, Shane? Uh, I have the top for my other card here is uh, attack two, range three, target two. 
Target two. Yes, I told you. I, I'm just messing stuff up on nice. the first go. All right, so I'm gonna start off. Obviously, one is gonna be this guy. I'm gonna hit him. All right. So it's uh, attack two plus zero. So that's two. But he only got five life. And he so. don't have a he don't have a shield either. No, he, he's, he's dead already. He's dead. Yeah. Goodbye. Yeah. And then my second attack is gonna attack that guy. So he's gonna get hit for attack two minus two. So he gets hit with nothing. All right. Which is sad. But I get an XP, so I'm happy about that. Sweet. On my turn, I'm going to do Crater. It's attack three, range three. And if the leaf is out, which it is not though, but if it is, then I'd be able to do a push for two and I get one experience. But I am still going to attack um, this guy right here because there's no obstacle in the way. I'm going to hit him for three. And let's see if I get any benefit to anything else. No. So it does take three damage though. Right, and I think that's number two. Number two. Yeah. He's got two more life left. Don't yes. life left. Yeah, all right. And now for my next one, I have uh, two. I can move two. Um, well, okay, you you totally messed this up because you could have did that one first that ability and just added plus one to your range attack, which that is, which would have been plus more damage, which would have hit with four. But if you want to use the yeah, move two instead. I just want to use the move yeah, two you because- you go over and loot that gold. Right. Yeah, yeah you didn't even see that till I said something. No, 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 I, I have a plan, don't you worry. So I got one go, yay. And that ends my turn. We're on to the monster's turn and it is the archer going here. He's moving over here one and now he's going to try to take a zing at me. Yeah, his attack damage is two. His modifier card is a minus two, so that's Ooh, nothing. Nothing. Ha so, ha. <laughs> lucky you. All right, now the next one. Uh, they have a range of four, so he doesn't have to move. Nope. We're equally distance apart, so he's going to attack Lance because Lance has the Lance range. has the higher initiative. That's right. All right, so that is two plus one from his modifier. He should be attacking the tank. So he hit you for three. The tank actually has actions, I think, that make things want to attack him. He just doesn't use them. So that is it. You take three damage. Yeah. That's not good. But that ends the turn. Like, that is the first round. Very quick, This, especially with the close, I'm not going to keep recording everything like usual. So we're just going to play the game more and more, and then when something big is going to happen or, ha or has happened, we'll come back and we will just show you exactly, like, when we open this room, what is in here. We don't know until we find out. I said we were going to stop recording and then when something else happened, but this is a pretty quick first turn, so we're just going to keep recording a little bit. And initiative-wise, what is your initiative, Shane? I got a six. You, what? You got a six? I got a six. I'm wow. pretty quick. You are very fast. What's your initiative, for Lance? 29. Mine's 46, and the archers 32. are 32. So, you're so it's going to be Shane, Lance, archers, and then me. So Shane, it is your turn first. Right. I'm going to start off with this uh, attack three, range four. And I'll be going after archer number two, who is already partially wounded. And this should finish him off. So attack three plus a curse. See, so, this is the curses are taken. That gets taken that, out I, of your I, deck. I would much rather take this loss of an attack than the minus four reputation we would have gotten. I'm just because there's four curses. I'm really no, worried about I'm okay that. With that. It might take us forever to build reputation. Unless we just want well, to keep we, bad we reputation. We want to be able to pick up evil. chicks. Yeah, but we want to be able to pick up chicks. You need good reputation for that. No, because if we're evil, we just take them. Well, that, and we get good reputation, maybe we'll get better deals in the shops in town. Uh, we'll, we'll get, we'll we'll get see. invited to nice fancy parties. But we can always just raid the shop in town and take what we want. Yeah, but then nobody will like us. <laughs> I like that. So what's your second card? Oh, it doesn't matter because I got cursed, so nothing else happens. Yeah, that ends my turn. True, that, that's exactly yeah. it. Yeah. All right, yeah. so Lance, it's on to your turn. Sure. So what are you doing? Um, I'm gonna use this one first. And what is that one first? Gonna move four. You gotta move right over top of the trap. No. Why not? It'd be fun. Sure. Move that guy there, and then I'm going to use attack three. Ooh. The fidget apparition. Apparition. Okay. So, uh, let's boost that. That jumps down. Oh, so oh, show what you did there. That ability. Yes. Oh, yeah, because of this. It's uh, attack three, and then it's uh, stun, and then I got one experience, but I have to. Oh, I have to nice. Push down. Yeah. 
think that's how that works. I'm yep. Sure that is. If so that is not how you use it, by all means, please comment down below and let us yeah. know. So. All right, what modifier you get with that? Yep. You only need two to kill them. So yeah. Unless you get a minus, you just kill them. Or a curse. Yeah. Will you just flip the curse? Is it a curse? Nothing happens. Oh! oh, oh, oh see what I mean? Like, oh, oh that's fine. This is just archers. They don't even really hurt yeah, us. And you but you, you did the attack, so you stood at the heel. Yay. But... Oh, no, wait, you didn't, because you didn't even get to that card. That's right. So, but although that works with every attack, right? Yeah, every attacks. melee attack? Yeah. Yeah, so you would still get the heel. On your melee attack? Yeah, so you'd still get the heel. All right, well... I, I don't get the... Well, yeah, you get these the yeah. flipping curse cards. But that means we're getting, we're going get through them quick. Now. That's yeah. right. It's All better to get through so them here yeah, instead of whatever's going to be waiting for us. Oh, well, we got to rip them, right? Uh, yeah, that, we might as well stack them all up over there. You, you're being horrible right I, now. I think it says rip the card. No, it just means take them from the deck, not rip them. It don't have the rip sign. Stop! Right there, it says rip. Okay, now we're on my turn. This is actually very ridiculous. It is on my turn. I moved up so I can attack and... I was going to attack my with my modifier, and I got a freaking curse card too as well. So that just ends our turn, and now it's back to the archer. Now this is horrible. I mean, very, very bad. On Shane's turn, he managed to go up and kick open that door, and when he did, it revealed. Da, 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 we have the boss bandit, and we have an elite archer and a normal archer, and we also have these things right here. And those are sarcophagus. So I and guess... Wouldn't that be sarcophagi? Well, sir, sarcophagi, sarcophagus. So whatever. Sarcophaguses. So let's find out what the boss bandit is capable of. The boss. Boss special number one. The bandit commander immediately jumps into a door hex, regardless of how far away it is, and opens it, revealing the adjacent room, starting with A... The bandit commander jumps through the door in order for A, B, C, D, and then back to A. So pretty much, he don't have to move his normal speed. He's, he just jumps automatically into a room. And when he does that, he's, he just reveals other monsters in there, which sucks. And again, we have to kill all revealed monsters to complete this objective. And that is it for the special for boss. He has a special too. And it is the bandit commander summons one normal living bones for two characters or one elite living bones for three or four characters. So he's so going to be able summon to summon an elite every turn. No, if he gets a card and it says summoning, then he's oh, able okay. to summon a living bones oh. character. But that is it. And each of these rooms you can see, that's room A, B, C, and D. So he'll automatically jump into this and then the characters will be spawned and then so on and so on so we have to kill this bandit boss as quick as possible now he have a couple of special rules that he does too as well or what he has you can see here 10 times c that's health of 10 times whatever the characters is so 30 30 it's not plus that's right it's times oh well, see, it's 30 strange. health that is horrible Whoa. and he's immune to stun immobilize and curses Move to the next door and reveal a room. Summon living bones. So that is... You've already explained that. His special. Yeah, I'm just reading it again. And he is level one because there's no way we're going to be able to tackle this any otherwise. I mean, we have no shields or anything. So that's good. Yeah, so but he got 30 health. Zero. That's that's like scary stuff. Anyhow, you still got one movement left, Shane. Are you going to... I'm just going to move out to the side. So oh, I thought you would have moved back out of the room. No, why? Well, because he's scary. Yeah, he's not he's not gonna attack me true the archers will attack me. yes now but because of that was that your two cards that you played that was uh <laughs> yes that was my second card because i disarmed a trap and oh yes moved in. that's why the, the there would the be more to this anymore. if there was something adjacent to me but yeah you know there's not no yeah, yeah, oh yeah, boy yeah. we'll be back hopefully we will get a little better and you know get rid of this bandit this bandit boss is fast as possible. Bandit Commander, sorry. The boss has activated, or the Bandit Commander, so he jumped to the store, and lo and behold, there's three living corpses in there now that we have to tend with too as well. And that is on his turn. He don't have any range on his card, 
Now he can get to move to as well, and his movement is three. So unless his movement is minus one, so he can only move two, and he's a minus one for his attack. And his range is three, and he can target two. Oh, this sucks. So he's gonna activate right now, obviously. So his movement is two, so he's going to move one, two, and then he has a range of three, and it's attack of uh, blah, blah, of originally three, but it's going to be two. So range of three, so one. He's going to attack me. He's going to attack you, and it's also going to be minus one to his attack, so it's two so far. Plus one. Is so that's three. three. Minus one is. No, no, it, it's attack minus one, so it's yeah. three. Plus one is four. Minus one is it's three. three. Yeah. yeah. So you take three damage. That's what I said, man. Hey, hey, I'm just, I don't like this guy at all. This is bad. Dumbass. Now also too as well, is he has a summoning living bones, but that's another action. So he can't summon them right now. I'm thinking he does that other than number one. It's number one or number two. He yeah, to do it's one or the other. Maybe we'll just take a die and we'll roll. Like, yes, I can't find anything chance. in the book. Yeah, we'll, we'll flip a coin for that. I think that, that'll be good. If we're playing that wrong with the boss, let us know, but just house rolling it because I couldn't find anything in the book for this. So we're going to roll a die. One, two, three, he moves. Four, five, six, he summons. So everybody did their initiative for this turn. These guys only have movement of one, so these living corpses are pretty slow. But the boss bandit moved to as well, and at the start of the next activation of him, he's gonna jump into this room right here to open up that as well. So we gotta start pounding him with damage. Because it would be horrible, horrible, horrible if we don't do this. We have to try to kill him as fast as possible. Just a quick correction. Now, we weren't sure because we couldn't find it in the book for the bandit boss or bandit commander, but Shane just flipped over his monster initiative card and says special one, which means that he would do this onto his activation. But luckily he's in 85. I chose to rest, a long rest so I can get some cards back because I'm going bad. So what's your initiative, Shane, for this turn? Uh, mine's gonna be nine. Nine? Nine. Lance? Eleven. Eleven. So it's gonna be Shane, Lance, Archers, Living corpses, which aren't even supposed to be out apparently, then boss. Yeah, we kind of made a mistake for living corpses, but we already did it, so yep. so be it. They're out now. They only move one, and we have to kill them all, so. Yeah. This boss, oh, I don't like him at all. Right there, he's back, he's back. Go away, go away. So let's yeah, yeah, yeah. go on with the turn, we'll be back. Well, on Lance's turn, he was able to move up, and he had a range of four, so he hit the boss band. Like this five. Or five, yeah. So the boss band is starting to get whittled down. I'm not worried about him as much anymore. You know, he still has over. He does now. have the special that when he does, but because we already opened this room because we made the mistake, we're gonna say that this is what he did as he opened that room. Right. We'll just give turn. them that one move advantage because we screwed up. Yes, that's right. So, yeah. but it's not their turn yet anyway. No. It, it's uh, it's whose turn is it? It's my uh, turn. No, I already did my turn. You did. Uh, so, so 14 is the archer's it turn. Is the did archers. you do your turn? I did do my turn. Oh yeah, you were nine, right? Yes, because yeah. I damaged yeah. him as well. So, so the archers, um, we got to start off with the... Uh, well, they're both going to attack me. Elite. Because I'm right there. Yeah. All right, so the elite archers, they get a minus two attack, which is all fancy for me. Oh, but still, we don't like So they've been attacked attack with three plus zero, which is three, but hey, guess what? I got the uh, trickster's reversal. So I don't take that. And what does that say in the uh, Next time you suffer damage this round, suffer no damage instead. Sweet. Yeah, I thought so. And that stays for the entire round. So well, with all the other the, monsters the hitting time. you. It's yeah. just the next time. But it says it stays here for the round. Right. So does it mean again the next? No, I'm sure it's just the first time. It, no, it's the for the entire round. Right. So with the other monsters attacking you, you're not going to take damage again. Love it's it. not like a one-time thing. Yeah, I don't really read it that way, but we'll go with that. So no, other... it, it does say that for the book. It's oh, in the okay. round. Because that's not the way it's worded. And it doesn't matter, the other archer drew a... A nail. A nail, so it wouldn't have hit me anyway. All right, and then it's going to be the living corpse, right? You shuffle back in. Uh, yeah, I'm going to shuffle those back together in a moment. So yeah, so now living corpses, they're going to all move one forward. Yep, and then it would be the... The boss's the, turn. Yeah, the bandit commander, but with the bandit commander. Like we said, he opened the door last time yeah. when he wasn't supposed so to. So we'll just move them up here. Right, so I'll shuffle these monsters. And then that ends that activation, and we're on to the next round. 
Oh, it's going by pretty fast. A lot faster than the last time, the first game we played, because we're understanding it more, don't you think? Yes, definitely the mechanics yeah, are, are better this time around. Yeah, we know that we have to try to save as many cards as possible. We'll be back! The Bandit Commander did his special on his move and opened the second door, door number B, and it has spawned two more living corpses, but there's a treasure in there now. Ooh. Now, one thing I uh, we played wrong the last game is that uh, if we kill everything, like this game, we have to kill everything that spawned and the Bandit Commander. And if we do that and there's still money or treasure <coughs> left on the board, we can't go and pick it up. We have to pick it up before we complete whatever the this scenario tells us to do. Oh, that's pretty silly. Yeah, I know. So we'd have to go around and make sure we pick up as much as we can and the treasure before we kill all of these guys. Just to recap on where we're at, you can see the board has gotten populated or overpopulated with other monsters. And we're on to the next initiative round. The boss bandit drew an 11, so he's going first. And what he did is a special two, which means he summons a living bones that goes beside him, which is right here. And that just adds more to the board. This is great. So now the boss is going to be able to move up to three and attack in melee for three. But he don't have to attack in melee or move because he's already adjacent to Shane's character. He's already here. So he's got attack three plus one. So he just hit me for four. I am not very happy about that. That hurt a lot. Yes, that 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 brings me down to two life. I probably will be using my healing potion. Yeah, I'm thinking. Round. I've already expended to... my hits on my hide armor as well. So. But on another good note, is the boss is down fifteen. Well, it, yeah. Uh, is it fifteen? Yeah. No, fourteen. Fourteen. Oh, four, I thought that was yeah, five. Yeah, that was five. Oh, as well. Okay, so that's still half. Basically. He's got sixteen health left. Yeah, that's that's still basically close. No, to half. yeah, that. Well, I mean, no. I, I plan on messing him up on my turn, so. So Bosses was 11, the next initiative that will go is 20, Lance. and it's Lance. He's over there fighting with some corpses. What are you going to do there, Lance? Well, uh, I'll start off with a submissive affliction, and I'll use the bottom one. Force one enemy with range 5 to perform, attack 2, range 0, target another enemy with you controlling the action. Oh, so you can force that living bones, for instance. Actually, no, I'm going to start with this one first. I'll do the attack one. Okay. Yeah. Who are you attacking? Uh, this guy here. So, uh, one. All right. One. Oh, yeah, he's already, got, he's already got a couple wounds on. Living corpse. Yeah, I'll attack him. So, attack one, plus one. That's two. That's two. All right. And they don't have any shields. He is at five. Uh, I have yeah. to put my he's heels. Is. No, he's only at four. He's only at two. And you're healing? Oh no, you have yeah, that card that, that card. every time you hit something, you heal yeah. one. Yeah. They're acidic influence. Yes, that's a pretty awesome card. That is very good. I actually really like the... I like uh, the other one that I got too, the attack one, but... Yeah, I, I, I think you're better heal. off with the heal one. Yeah, I need it, because now I'm full health again now. Yeah, that's important. Okay, so now I'm going to use the uh, submissive affliction. I'm going to so use the bottom one. Are you going to have something attack the boss? Is that the I'm going to have this guy here attack this guy. Well, why wouldn't we get rid yeah, of the Yeah, like, get more... Like, I'm thinking... Well, well, what is the bones hit for? Is he even Oh, range? yeah, but I don't think he's in range because it's no, range not. five. One out. Yeah. But the archers, the archers hit for three damage. What do these guys hit for? And right now they currently have a plus one attack. What do so these they guys hit for? Hit for? Four. Uh, those guys hit for four damage. So you could have one take out one of the other ones. These guys are already almost dead. We need to knock this boss out. Yeah, okay. I'll so the archer should be into the boss. Well, no, have the boss. No, I'll have this yeah, guy. Yeah, yeah, because he'll hit. Elite. Yeah. He'll hit for three, plus they currently have an attack bonus. Which plus be two four, here. Which would be four. This and then two, plus whatever the thing. Oh, yeah, that is it. It's not their attack. It's two it's damage. Two. It's just two. It's not a plus two or anything. No. And that's a range play. Yeah, it's so. attacked. It, it's it, still, if it's range, it's it still going to add to it. Oh, yeah. wait, it's a range zero. Yeah. Oh, okay, so it won't work. Oh, it's a range plus zero. Yeah. So it would, only, it would add zero range. So it would still be able to hit, but it hits at the plus two, not whatever they're at. Yeah. So it's still only going to be two damage, but two damage is still pretty awesome. That's right. And so we still had to flip a, the card. 
the monster card to see how much damage it does the boss on top of it. No, it's just an attack plus two, and it's. Yeah. Do we use a monster attack card or a player attack card? It would, we're using we're a using monster, so it has to be a monster right. attack card. So it'll be another plus one. So that's another plus one on there. Nice. So. so Seventeen Three. now. Damage. Oh, uh, I've so already, I already added the other one. You're going down soon, buddy. Yeah. That's it. Well, I plan on poisoning him too. So huh. I'm so excited. And he, he's not immune to poison either. No, so not. this is good. So that ends your turn there, Lance. Yeah. All right. So what was your initiative number? Uh, he was twenty. Yeah. So I think the living bones. Tw living bones. Next, Twenty-five. They which go is bad. Next. He's gonna come and he's gonna hurt me, and I'm gonna cry a little bit. So they got to move a plus one. Well, it doesn't matter. He's more than got enough to get the one. Yeah. He needs to get me. So he's right there but with yeah, he you. Has a, he has an attack minus one. And he, he if he, yeah, he, uh, he, he might not actually kill me. Attack minus one. Yeah. And he's he right only does one. He only does one. So it's zero so far. So you got to flip one over. And it's plus zero. Ah, so zero. Really? He don't hit you. Yeah, because, oh uh, no. Uh, yeah, he's, yes. Yeah, yes. minus one yes. to one and then zero. So I'm that's... so excited I'm not dead. Whew. Sweaty! Okay, that, I, that ends the limb bone. So who is the next uh, initiative? After 25 is going to be... Actually, I should have went before him. Oh, you're 23? You know what? I'll take it. My mistake. I had a 23. It, it wouldn't really change much. I don't plan on hitting no. him anyway. So what are you going to do? Well, I'm going to start off with taking this healing potion. That's probably a good idea. Yeah, yeah I need that. And then I'm going to use uh, a venom shiv. It's uh, a venom shiv. Venom shiv. Whoa! It's an attack three plus poison. Oh, so you're gonna um, I'm hopefully both, you're gonna I'm, do the boss, yeah, right? And the commander. All right, so okay. flip the car over and see. So three. Not a curse. Not a curse. Plus one is four. Plus poison. So let's see. Uh, He's got two on him there, so that'll be seven or six, right? I know my math. I forgot it already, though. And he also get a poison token. And he gets a poison token, meaning at the beginning of every one of his turns, or no, everything that hits him from now on is an additional plus one. So my second action, I've got this awesome card with an attack in the bottom movement area. So I'm going to use that. That's an attack three. Ha! Four, technically, because I've poisoned him. That's right. At plus one. So that, that's just boom. That's another five. What? I hit him for a third of his, his health in that round. Nice. That is pretty awesome. And I also get experience from both of those. He items. only has four health points left. That's sick. Yep. I hope on I'm his MVP. next turn, well, you don't get another special one. Because that card, because then it's going to open up this room where there's probably going to be more monsters. But right now, if we can keep him at bay by playing another high initiative and kill him, because he only has four health left yeah. next turn, and that will be it. All right, so after that turn, it uh, is... After the 20, it would be after 25. What are yours at? You got 41. You're in the 40s, eh? Yeah. Uh, 32. This will be the living corpses. The living corpses. All right, so they all just move one, except for number one right here is going to attack Lance. Oh, but also he has a push of one. Oh, well, he will push you away as well after mm -hmm. he finishes hitting you. Well, he pushed me first. He doesn't get to hit me now. No, I guess all right, well, order. he got a nothing. So nothing happened. You don't even push you. He just stands there. Just Sorry, I put that off to the side so I remember. Uh, stuff all uh, uh, nice. So uh, number two is dead. Number three, he's hiding back here. He'll just step out. Yeah, and this guy goes here. Yeah, and this and goes this one there. Over here, and that's it for them. So now we're into the forties. So it'll be your go, then the the remaining archers. Who? Oh, my go first. All right, and I got an attack of three. Okay, just hang on one second here. On my turn, I have a card that lets me destroy any adjacent obstacle, and I get one experience for it, so that obstacle is destroyed. And I go up one experience, and also I'm playing the card right here. An opposing strike. That's right, opposing strike. Now, this here helps me gain for my melee, and I already have one out for my range, so I'm kind of like... Anytime you, do a, anytime you do a range or a melee, you get to add a, a token on there and yep, just right. some XP. And now that's kabam! That's pretty good. So I do get one more XP for de destroying that coffin. And after me for initiative is going to... I think that's it for everybody, uh, No, it? archers. Archers still need to go. Oh, the archers. The archers, yes. Yeah, okay. So they've got a plus range and a plus attack. Uh, who had the best initiative that time? I got the lowest, and uh, you, you had the 20, so they're going to be targeting you. So that elite, totally in range of targeting you. 
So he will hit you for his uh, four minus one is three damage. Three damage for Lance. And the non-elite is in range two as well. Oh yes, and he got a plus two, oh. so that's five damage. Really? You've got to be down to one, if my math is correct. Yeah, I, be I believe one. Like, this is this is repeating the same thing as last time, because the first person that had one wound left last game was none other than... Well, he does have the least amount of hit points. True, he does. and. That, that, that I can understand why awesome. whoever created this game gave gave the uh, mind control guy the last least hit points. It makes sense. Because he's really strong with mind but control. I would imagine if one of us had, had drawn a wizard or something, they would also be low. Yeah, just like in Hero Quest, the wizard is very yeah, low. Yeah, but it's like in, in any fantasy style game. Usually the casters are very powerful, but very weak. Yeah. So I think you should probably do a long rest next turn, Lance. Uh, or, hit, or hit things twice. Oh, you before. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's right, because you got the card to heal. Yeah. But he still has a potion that he's avoiding I taking. Can't use. Well, you can. Not if I don't want two checkpoints. Yeah. You, or you could just run away. Yeah. That's, that's yeah. Too. We'll, we'll come across that bridge when we get there. We'll cross it. But anyhow, it's uh, so you're down to one health, and that is the two archers. And I think that's the last one, right? Yeah, that is everybody. I need to reach. And that the ends the time. this round, and we're on to the next round. On Chain's turn, he flipped over an attack three. He's, the boss is poisoned. He didn't heal, so he takes four damage. He's down to one health left. And for your second card, what did you do, choose? I have the, the take no damage this round. That's really good to do because they're around you and you don't Especially want to. Especially when I've got a high initiative, I hope yeah. things will hit me and not anybody else. Oh, that's so after your turn, the next is going to be. Uh, let's see, we got a twenty-one over here. I mean, Seventeen. Oh, 17. It's the Eight. boss. Eight. You have eight? Yeah. Oh, okay. Eight so is it is then. it is your turn. Now Well, I gotta attack these guys here. But hold on a second here. Um I see how he's got this figured out. You gotta figure it out? He does, yeah, just let it play out. So Lance, you have one health remaining, so yeah. how come you didn't choose to go long rest this turn? Just watch. Just watch. I see yeah. his cards. Okay, it's, go ahead. It's smart. Well, I'm gonna start off with uh preserve okay. edge. And I'm gonna use, uh, yeah, I'll use uh, yeah. the attack three, add plus two attack and gain one for each negative condition on the target. They don't have no they don't conditions have on them. No. So I won't get Well, the boss things. got poison. Yeah, he's way on the other side. So yeah. He's literally attacking the corpse beside him here. Oh, so you're attacking the right, living so three corpse? Three plus what's your modifier? Huh. Times two. Oh, so that's six. He needed uh, one. one, two, three, four, five. He only needed three to kill him. So he's dead. So yes, you have got you, you have got him. So whoever lands on there for treasure is just making bank because there's two there. And I get two heal. Yes, because you did that. that see, that's what's smart. Uh, yeah. So. And then he still has his uh, other half of his <gasps> other card. And what are you doing for your other half? Poof, invisible. Invisibility. Can't, can't attack the invisible. SMRT. <laughs> Alright, so um, we'll be back. On our turn, the boss is going. He has 14 and he drew a special two card. So, because uh, another Living Bones is there. Now, if he draws another special two card, I just realized this, he would have to have another, uh, another Living Bones to come out. And the only other place would be this obstacle, so that would mean that obstacle would get destroyed and the living bones would take two damage. Ah, uh, yeah, sure, sounds right to me. So, on his turn, he it's his turn to uh, move. He moves. He's got to move another three. He's not, to, to clarify, he's not doing anything with me because I went invisible. That's right, you went invisible, which is really good. But now he's going to move towards the next one, which will be me because right. Lance is resting. So he'll move one, two, three. And he's attacking and me. He'll swing at you, he got a minus two. So his damage is three, minus two, you'll take one damage. I take one damage. But because of this other card you put That's out, right. you misread it, it's not, you get a bonus every time you melee. Yeah, no. This is a retaliate. So anything that hits you takes two damage. And I retaliate for two. Which is more, which is. He only has one, so he's right. dead. He's dead. He, he killed himself nice. by striking you. So, yeah. 
Boo to him. Yeah. And that, he's, just, he's gone. And we've only got eight monsters to kill. Yeah, there's, yeah. it's... That's not that much, really. Yeah, no, we, the problem is, though, it's a running out of courage. No, what you need to do is you need to get down with your little whirlwindy thing and be like, right in here is where you're going to want to be. But yeah. that won't be like that, because right now it's going to be... Uh, 14. 32? Yeah, because yeah. I got 38. Yeah, 32 beats you. So the archers are going to go now. They can't see me, they can see you, they're gonna shoot at you. Yep. Uh, so the range of the uh, well, five, number yes. four. The elite archer. Uh let's see, he's got one to his attack, but he got a minus one, so that's three damage to you. Three damage. One, two, three. Ouch. I'm down to six. Alright, and the non-elite got a nothing. A null card. So that's good. So that's therefore okay. that's it's your go. I'm so now it's my turn. You're going 38. Right. And I can't remember what I... I was originally going to go up and kill the boss, but because I was going to move three and then attack. Well, where'd the boss go? Uh, yeah, he died. Pay attention, it, man. He died. I want, I'll but I, I can switch my cards around because I got an attack two of range five. So which one of the archers, uh, or even these two, which one has more damage? Nothing. Nothing on the board except for this living corpse. And number and five archer. This archer. That archer has one damage on. Yeah. It. So maybe I'll do that to get rid of him. Or do you want me to try to knock down that that living corpse? The, the bones. You? Move three, and they get to attack three targets if they happen to be beside them. So the bones can be very scary, but the archer can attack from a distance. So you know, it's up to you. Yeah. I, I, do you know what? I'm gonna do the. I might as well just kill the archer, or ah, try okay. to kill the archer. Sure. So it's attack of two. And minus one, so, so it only takes so one, one damage. Just one for that archer. Then. He's at two. All right. And on top of that, you know, I have to play my other one, which is move three. Uh, I kind of feel I want to run away here, but eh, don't. I'm not. Don't. You're the you're the tank. Yeah, I'm gonna go right here beside you. All right, thanks, man. No, Just for backup, and that ends my turn, and then next it's going to be uh, who hasn't the Living there? Bones, that's, I think that's it. No, it's the Living Corpse and then the Living Bones. Yeah. On to Lance's turn. Lance, what are you doing? I force an enemy to attack someone. Okay, so, so I'm going to take this Elite Archer and he's going to attack this guy here. What's the attack? So attack is two. What's this? It's plus two. So it's four, that's enough to kill him. Nice. He had three damage on him already. Yeah, you gotta drop some loot there. Oh, I most definitely will. And then what's your second card you're playing? Um, uh, second one I'm not gonna use because I can't attack anything. There's nothing in range. So you're so, just gonna use just the generic attack to do nothing? Yeah. That way you don't lose the card. Oh. Smart. Yeah. yeah, so that's it then. For your turn, well, you killed one, which is good. Yeah, yeah. You should let me. Plus, get... I get my heal too. So. Yes. You should let me get over there and grab that money because I really need some coin. It's on to my turn because finally I have a card with initiative 13. You can see there. Woo woo! So I'm going to use my avalanche right there. So it's attack four. I have to be standing there and I can attack two enemies, which I can, Close which is elites, there. Two elites, yeah. So. First one is going to take four plus ooh, ooh, two. Four plus two, so that's six. Yep. On an elite archer, how much life do they have? They only have seven anyway. No, no, it's not an archer, it's the bones, the living, the bones? Bones. living bones, number nine. Living bones. Oh, they're way down there. Yeah. Six damage, well it's dead. Yeah, it's dead. Yeah, number nine died. Goodbye, Sweet. number nine. And for the second one, that's, that's another living 10. bones. Yeah, number and 10. And it's an archer. Oh, they have a shield. He's not dead, by mistake. <sighs> he, he's one away. All right. And the second one gets five. So it gets four. Four damage on the second one. So that's pretty good though, because I hit them. Yeah, that, that's pretty decent. And then I have uh, a move action of two, which I'm going to just. You, you, you can't, well, yeah, I guess you can get over there. Yeah, I can go so over. So you're just gonna hit them. It's like, a, it's like a beehive. You just hit them and you run away. Now if I move there, them guys hit really hard though, don't they? No, no, those guys are wussies. Um, they hit for like three. Yeah, I'm not moving there. Plus you got nowhere else to move, so... I can just stay are, there. Are you just hoping that I will finish those guys off? Yes. Are you? Totally hoping. I'd rather you move, because I could probably finish the other guy off. So you want me to... You think yes, I should move, move yes, there? Yes, I will kill that guy. Alright, good. Yeah. 
All right, so it is on to your turn. It's on your turn there, Shane. So what are you gonna do there? Well, I'm going to uh, I'm going to use Sinister Opportunity. It's it's an attack three, but I add plus one attack for each ally adjacent to the target. You're adjacent to him. The moon is out, so I get to make it a plus two instead. Ooh, nice. So that's going to be an attack three. That's, that, that's an attack five, and I'm also attacking from coming out of invisibility, which doubles it. No, just hope you don't get a curse card. Yes, that would be horrible. And no curse, no curse, no curse, no plus curse. Plus one. Oh. So that's six. Times two is 12. He dies. Yeah, and money, money, money there. Yes. So that's gone now. I use that. I just got a lot of experience for that as well. It's like one for that, plus two for that. That's, that's, that's three experience. And for your second action? Uh, it is a move three, poison an adjacent target. Hmm. So, I think what I might do, poison the bones. Uh, I might just move right over onto that money and then poison you. I, I mean, the bones. Oh, funny, funny, funny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that number one bones over there hasn't been touched yet, so a poison on him might, might be nice. Yeah. All right, so I'll move here, collect some coinage, and poison number one. And again, everybody knows what poison is, is whenever it takes one damage, it takes another damage. Yeah, it's just a plus one, basically, for yeah. everybody attacking him. But that's pretty good, and after I think Living Bones are next, is... No, uh, no, the Archers would be next. Yeah, 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 Archers are next. And they got a minus one for their move, and they have a plus, plus one, one their for their attack. attack. But it sucks, because they're going after Lance. Poor old Lance there. Uh, oh, that'll be you. That, yeah, yeah, but you got a better initiative, and they're within range of you. So well, one is. Yeah, yeah, the one that's going to attack you. Yeah. So mm -hmm. it's the elite. They got a plus one to attack. They drew a minus one on their modifier, so they're at base attack, which is only three. What? They attack for three? Uh, yeah. One thing I forgot to mention too, as well, is on my turn, I, I used my uh, healing potion because I was down pretty low. Anyway, the, the generic uh, normal archer attack on me does not. got nothing, which is good. Yeah? I don't like getting hurt. I don't think anybody does. Yeah, but those loving bones. Living bones. I'm calling them loving because they're going to come over and make love to us right now. Yeah. I, I, you know, <laughs> it is not going to be the fun. No, because they have a 45, so now they get a plus zero for move. So. But they also have multiple targets. Yes. So let's start with... Number nine. They have a move of four. Yeah. But you forgetting about your retaliate. Yes. So number nine is going to move in, one, two, and going to attack you. So it draws a plus zero, but their attack is two. So you take two, but then you retaliate two, which is conveniently enough to kill him. Nice. And that drops money, 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 which I need to don't and then And then number 10 comes in to attack you. And steals your money. <laughs> he attacks with a minus one. So you take one, but retaliate with two. And it kills him. And it kills him. Why am I taking the money out of there? Oh, now you're forgetting. Mark your two notches up here. Oh, yes. I don't know how you've been marking those. So well, it goes this extra. way, and then there. You get, yeah, you'll get one more XP. Yeah, so I get an XP there. And you're at the well. last one of your lines, so this card is now dead and goes in your line. No, 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 because I got all of these. Uh, how? No, I thought you were going across the top. No. Oh, okay. Yeah, so I still. It's there. So now I got one, two, three left before I get rid of Well, you the went card. across the bottom on this Yes, the bottom first. Confusing. It don't make a difference. It was close. As long, as, and long I'm lazy. as you know. As long as you know. Yeah, so I get one experience point for that too as well. All right, and there's all... Uh, sorry about that chain. I kind of cut off there. But yeah, one loving bones. Uh, like uh, living bones. Yes. Wow. I'm loving the way they're killing themselves. I'm changing their names. Okay. He's going to attack me because he's already adjacent. Yeah. I don't have retaliate, sadly. He hit you four. Oh, plus two. Ooh. Oh, so that's uh, what uh, that's uh, he's just a normal he's, one. He's here. a normal one, so he so hits one. you that's for three. Yeah. That can take three. In my sleep. Easy peasy. Lemon yeah, squeezy. Not really. It still hurts a bit, but. Yeah. And I think that is no. We still got the living corpse to do. Yeah. And the living corpses, they just had to be able to move one. That's it. Well, we lucked out with the living corpses, I have to say, because if they hit you, they hit you for three. And if it's an elite, it hits you for four. But there's no elite living corpses on the board right now. So that's not too bad. And I have two cards left. 
Uh, I'm going for a sleep. I'm down to one card. Yeah. I, have to have a nap. I think I have to have a nap myself. Well, no, I guess I could play the last two cards and then go yeah. for a long rest, yeah, right? Yeah, you could do that. Yeah. All right. Well, we're on to the next the next round. I still got oh, on the uh, Bandit Archer's turn, something unfortunate just happened here. Lance, what just happened? I, uh, I died. How did you die? But I got ran out of health. I, I know, but yeah. like because of the cards, one archer hit you and then the other hit, archer hit you, yeah. and then that knocked you the down to archer zero. Hit me for four, and then another archer hit me for one. But we're not playing permadeath, you're just. Done in this yeah. scenario. Like right now, that means that we gotta melt this guy down and rip all the cards off. Uh, we're not playing permadeath. Oh, okay. Why do you want to destroy my game? Oh, that's because it's funny. It's not funny! <laughs> it's just funny that the companies put that rule in there to do yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Who would really do that? Well, the, here, pay 250 bucks for this game, and then after you get to destroy your characters. Well, the, you rip the cards up, but again, this is a legacy game, right? Once something happens, if you're playing permadeath and everything, then it's permanent. Now, if we were playing permadeath, you would have to start with a new character the next, if we complete this mission. Even if we don't complete this scenario, you would have to start with a whole new character. Yeah. So, I don't know if that would be a, be good for you, but you're kind of starting to get the hang of him. Of him, I should say, or it, the mind thief. So yeah, so you're out of the the game for the the duration of this game. You're out of it, and that leaves these guys for just Shane and I to fend off. So yeah. paint the next guy. All right, let's keep going on. The what just went again? Was it the archers? The right, archers, the banded yes. archers went, and you took another point of damage. Is that what it is? Ah, uh, yes, I did. I, sh I certainly did. Now, from where you did your long rest, everything. How many points? N not. I did my long rest, and then last time I did a heal three self, so I'm still doing okay. I, I, I don't like to be this low, it makes me nervous, but I still also have two hits on my hide armor I could take at some point. And well. you also have your helmet that you never even use. Uh, the helmet only applies if they draw times two. Yes. So, I'm good. Alright. So, right now I'm going to do my Sinister Opportunity, and the moon is out, so I have to drop the moon back down, and that will give me an attack three plus two, so an attack five. I would really love to take this guy out, because I'm not a big fan. He don't have any uh, damage on him, but he's got poison. Yeah, oh yeah, so yeah, he's definitely gonna get hurt. So I got a minus one, which kind of stinks. So but only the minus one four. cancels out for the poison. Well, the minus one really just cancels out the shield, in my opinion, right. so he's, uh, he's gonna take four. How much, oh, is he? He's regular, so he's got one more health left on him. Yes, I thought I was gonna kill him. I did not. I'm over it. Yeah, that's that's kind of bad. But well, still, well, you did. You I did still, not I still have my other my other thing here, which is attack three. So I could finish. And you get one off. experience for attack. Yeah, I get a, one for that, and I get another one for this one nice. too. So I think I'm gonna use my attack three on him because I don't like him. He'll be able to attack both of us. Yep. Yeah. Okay, so so attack, attack three. Attack three plus zero. So attack three, he still dies. Yeah, it's just, you hit him for one, but that's all he got left. Yeah. So he is Elgano, yes, and some Mula Mula there. Some treasure pops out where he was located, and I'll take my XP. You know, one thing I want to point out too as well is when the bandit was alive with the special two of summoning living bones, that's why the living bones were all here, and they were all elite. Yes. So. Like, if we didn't kill the uh, the bandit commander, that would have been really oh, helpful. He just, he just would have kept spinning yeah. out. And he still had another door that he didn't have a chance to That's open. That's right. I don't even want to try to open that door. I just want us to kill these. You have to get down and loot this before yes, we kill I'm, everybody. I'm going to work on that as soon as I can get through this way. Uh, it's interesting to see what this is. I am curious. I don't know. The last one gave us an extra... A mission, a side a quest. A mission. That's right. So, yeah. I don't know what it's going to be. We'll find out. But your turn is over. So I believe it living corpses. Is that no? There's 32. 32 yeah, there's 32. I got 38. So it is living corpses' turn now. The living corpses. They have initiative before us. I I had to stop the camera because like no wait, Shane. But I forgot they're 32 and I'm 38. So they're definitely going to be going before me. So they're going to attack. Well, the elite's going to go first. He's going to swing at me. And he got a nothing. Oh, lucky. But, but he still manages to push me because of this. No, because... No, he still hit me. He still pushes. Yeah, but if it's nothing, it cancels everything out. Oh, okay. Yeah, so he can't even push you. 
I kind of wanted to get pushed because then he'd suffer a damage and they'd push me into that But money. it says here too as well as the living corpse suffer one damage. Yes. But so, yeah, he don't I, even I'm get assuming, that. Yeah, I'm assuming nothing's going No, happen. nothing happens no matter what because once, if you know any different that would, if the push part would take effect with this, comment down below and let us know. Refer to a page number two as well just so that we learn as we go along. So next is okay. going to be number five is attacking you now. All right. And he's got no damage on him, so let's see what he does. To he got a do. minus two, so that's a three, that's a five. Nine, nine. All right. What'd I'm, you take? I'm back down to one health. Oh, crap. Yeah. Uh oh. Yeah. And now it's my turn. Um, so I'm going to heal myself for two. Oh, you can't use that for me. No. Oh. Yeah, no, you can't. You actually can. I think that is for other people. Ooh, so it's heal to range three. So did that, you want that, me heal you? That is that actually that is for other people. If it's for yourself, it would yeah, say heal self. So heal two then. All right, yeah, because if it's for yourself, it would say heal self. Yeah, yeah, no, no, that's right. So heal two. I just did. All right, and for my second action, it's attack three, range three, but I get a plus two range on my card if I want. But okay, which one of these guys are hurt like the worst? Number five, Archer. He's hurt bad. Yes, he'll probably die if you hit him. So yeah, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna whack him. And it's a plus zero. And that archer got no uh, sorry, he's got nothing, that on so camera. He's got he's got some death in his future. Yeah, so he's done. Yes! Oh, and this also too as well. We'll bump up on It's gotta go up. Um So that's it. We did everybody else, right? Because Yep. The living bones were done. They're dead. Yeah, they're not doing any living yeah, bones no. out there. So yes, that's it. Next we're time. actually in pretty good shape, but so you can get this treasure. I think we should whittle these last three down to one, and then you go for the treasure if you got it into your cards, because you're back up some health because we're healed you for two. We're on to the next activation. Hopefully we'll, I think this one, you know, we first thought that the first campaign, the first scenario was very challenging. What do you think of this compared to the first one, Shane? Uh, I think we're just getting better at playing, honestly. Yeah, because we're it, starting to learn more. Yeah, we're just, we're learning how to not use the lost options on our cards more. And uh, I'm liking it a little bit better. Yeah. Now, I've already got my next two cards picked, so. Yeah, I'm, I'm rambling. Wait, let's get a, a Lance? Oh, no. Oh, no, he's dead, so. Yeah. He's, yeah. he's exhausted, not dead. Yes, true. That's right, he's so. He's having a nap. Right. The so, long rest. let's keep going on, shall we? Yeah, that on the living corpses, they hit me, but they took damage from me. I'm dealing. Yeah, it took a couple of damage, but they did retaliate anyhow. But unfortunately, this card, because I got the X, because you can see the cards that I got here. So I'm losing cards very fast, so I'm going to be only got three trouble. monsters left, and they're killing themselves. Yeah, I and, hope and so. And go. Yep. And I'm going to just, I moved up one. Already, I forgot to retaliate, we stopped. But now I'm hitting the both of them and it's for this one, which is attack four. <sighs> so let's go against the elite first. All right, I just hope it's a plus one, so that's five. Oh yeah, you killed him. Oh, that's right, because he only had five health left. Well, yeah, uh, no, because of the retaliate, he only had three health left. Ooh, shoot. Yes, so he's dead. Goodbye. Oh, get out, yeah, there we go. And now for the next one, uh, it's zero. Yep. Uh, well, you only needed three to kill him, though. Yeah. So you've also killed him. Nice. He's dead. Sweet, sweet, sweet. So now we need... Oh, so all what's left now is you could have killed him on your turn, but you chose no, not to because you wanted well, to get wanted, down here. I wanted to skirt around him to get in and yeah. get that treasure and allow you a chance to pick up the treasure that was over there. Yes. So, because of that, now, again, just as a reminder, I did not know this until somebody on the Facebook channel had pointed this out, that if all monsters are killed, that would complete this scenario. Right, which is why we're avoiding it. And then you now, wouldn't be able to pick this up, because there's no way I'm going to have enough time. To, to loot that, all I have to do is end my turn on it, correct? Yes. All right. So now i got to pick my initiative card uh, for and this round. I'll pick my initiative, and we'll draw this initiative, and we'll see what happens there. Hopefully... I really want you to get to the Shane because I want to see what the heck this is. Well, yeah, I'm sure I will. Yeah, and I'm, 
I'm in some pretty dire straits here though because Look, I don't have many cards left. I just need to move, so my, my job's gonna be pretty darn easy. But we still have to kill that guy. Yeah, why well, not? Or Archer too as well. Let's figure this out. Now this is the, the beginning of our next turn. We already drew our initiative. Shane, what's your initiative? A uh, four. Four? And when I say next turn is I had to do a long rest because I only had one card left. And I had to get rid of another one here. So again, I'm pretty hurting. And if we don't kill him soon, then like... Got three life left. Yeah, I got five because I did a long rest. I went down to three, but I did a long rest, so I healed two. So anyhow, let's keep going on here. So do your move. All right, I'm gonna go with uh, a question. This attack has two dots after it. This attack has one dot after it. What the heck does that mean? Dots? Yeah, yeah, see so like, attack three, one dot. Attack three, two dots. Hmm. Yeah, I just noticed those. One of them I lose. When it's basically the same. I got one dot on one of mine too. Well. What dot? Uh, it'll be worth looking into. Yeah. Regardless, yeah. I'm gonna go with move six. So uh, one, two, three, four, five. That works for me. Cool. We're, we're kind of right, right yeah. smack dab with the two of them. Right. So then I'm gonna be two of us. Attack three. Add plus two attack and gain uh, experience point when target is adjacent to any of your allies. So it's an attack five. So attack five, plus one, attack six, he dies. Because he only had three health left, right? Treasure pops out, we can't loot it because the no. game's over. But it's dead, and we did complete and, it. And we did get the chest. Yes. I'm gonna flip it over to the gold band of the chest rather than the silver band of the chest. Uh, now, I like gold better. It's kind of a glare there. The chest is number 67, so I'll flip to that, we'll be back. Lance is back from, you know, we finished uh, this episode. So we have to find out what that is. We'll be back. I don't know if I mentioned this into the first, uh, the first episode, but the treasure chests, they have the number, and then on the back of the, the uh, scenario book, they have the, the number here. So in the map, it says number 67, which is right here. And Shane, you get 10 gold for looting that chest. I already wrote it down. Nice. So you get 10 gold, and but also too, as well as we completed this mission, which is the Barrel's Lair. And only one of us died. That's right, only one of us died. Now, there's a little bit of text here at the second part of the page, or the other half of the page that, that I read. I'm not gonna read this on camera, I'll read it and I'll sum it up when we come back, and then we're gonna get new location and reward. I'll read the reward right now. So all of us gets 10 gold each and plus one prosperity to Gloomhaven. Hey Shane. Ooh. Before we do anything further, now what we did is we completed the mission. In the corner, we found a scroll that the girl hired us to go and find. That was our quest. That was our quest, so we completed it. So what we did is we went back to Gloomhaven and we gave it to her. And she said there's another mission if we're interested in, and we have to go to the Ox Forest, Iox, or? Uh, the Inox and Camp. Inox, yes. Those were those guys that uh, tried jumping us on the road, the giant barbarian yes. guys. So right. that- no, that's number three. We unlock one. Oh, I'm cutting off camera here because I'm trying to grab the book. That's all right. That's gonna pop right up here in the forest. Yes, now also too, as well, is we, Curiosity took, got the best of us, and we looked into the scrolls, tried to read it, but it was in a different language. But what we did read Oops. is that there's something at Crypt of, Dan, of the Dam. Crypt of the Dam, I have that right here. And it's so, gonna be right up here on the river. Right there. And we also get to check off one prosperity because yes. we're getting more prosperous. Yeah, this pencil will work that right here, but then it's yeah, good. We got prosperity. So therefore, we have some more stuff on the map that we unlocked. And our next one that we're doing is, we can choose the free one that, that you unlocked the last one, or we can go to the encampment. Or to the city, Crypt of the Dam. Or Crypt of the Dam too as well. I think we play them in order. It, yeah, I think so. That. And the next one is the Enox encampment. Yeah. 
the, the barbarians did. Yeah, so that's gonna be our next quest that we're doing. But you know, we went back to Gloomhaven, we met her at the pub. So when we're here, we might as well have a drink or two, right? Uh, yeah. And rest That's why up. We came here. Yeah. What do you think, there, Lance? You think we should take a drink and rest up at the? Oh uh, yeah. The inn. Okay, so that's what we're doing. So there you go, board game maniacs. I hope you enjoyed episode two, our quest two of Gloomhaven, the Barrows. What's it? What is it called again? Uh, the Barrows Lair. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Yeah. And again, this this one wasn't as challenging, but as Shane said before, and I agree with him, you were yeah, you I weren't here. With whether it was challenging or not, I think we just got a little better. Yeah. Learning not to just waste our one-time use cards. Yeah, but you can see the two of us are getting really down there with the the cards. Like we only had a little bit of cards left. Yes. Well, that's because you got that huge stack of ones you had to throw away. Just kept having to sleep. Yes. Well, I couldn't help it because it was just I was being drained. We all get, we got a marker 10 gold on our sheet too I, as I well. I already. And I'm up to uh, 25 gold and 10 tokens. And our check mark, my check mark was hoarder. I had to get five or more uh, coins to go up and I did get five. Actually, I think I get six coins. I got my gold. treasure chest, so I got my, my one check mark. And for, uh, Lance, did you, you didn't achieve your check mark, did you? He, he died, but he still did because he didn't use I any two check marks. You got your two check marks, and how much coins did you have? Yeah, the five. I have more. Wrote them down. And because we completed the the campaign, you still get your ten gold with everybody else too, as well. Yeah, that makes sense. Oh, he's dead. I think we split that. <sighs> no, we need him. Whatever. All right, so I got twenty nine gold. Nice. So when we start our next one, we can start. Actually, we have to start in the town of Bloomhaven. Correct. Because the next mission is not linked. Twenty three. Twenty three. Nice. Wow. Well, you, I don't know, I have to total it up. I was yeah, just five, reading through five, the book. Uh, 16. Oh, that's not I have too bad. Almost twice as much XP as you. Man, 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 man. Well, I started learning my cards. Play the ones yeah. that give you XP that you don't have to throw away. Play them a lot. Yeah, true. Very true. I hope you enjoyed this, everybody. We certainly did. We're starting to learn the mechanics more and more. We probably made some rules mistakes still. And if we did, just comment down below. Let us know what page number. Keep in mind, though, by the time we actually post this and see your remarks, we will have recorded three or four more of these. From yes, the place, so. but we're still learning because yes. if we're planning on doing what we said we're doing, which is run through all 95 campaigns. Yeah, by the time we're finished, we should know this game inside out. Yes, it's incredible. I'm having a lot of fun with this. I like They'll campaigns that discover. Probably by then, too. Yeah, I'll be a little bald, you know. Who knows? But until next time, Board Game Mains, hope you had some fun, and as always, be a maniac!